darkness influence on the light. God says, I've got to preserve some light. I've got to preserve some light because the seed has to come through light. And so I've got to preserve some light. So I've got to deal with this darkness. And then the Bible says, I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to give you a little, a little highlight. Then the Bible says that, that God, I think it's the speakers and the feedback. <laughs> then the Bible says that uh, it speaks about Noah. It says, but Noah found favor in the eyes of God. God says, I got, I got one light left. Now, now that's a terrible scenario when you talk about humanity where God who sees all, knows all, knows everything, looks and says, I got one light left. That lets you know the horrible state of humanity at that point. God says, I've got one light left. And if I don't get rid of all this contamination... If I don't get rid of this contamination, it's going to eventually take out my light. So it's, it's time for judgment. So I'm going to bring judgment. Now, notice something else. I want, want to point something else. There are those who believe that whenever a person, uh, a family, when they multiply or they have a lot of children, that that's an indication that God looks favorably at them. If you will notice in the text, it says that the darkness folk were multiplying just like the light folk. Mm -hmm. Now the fact they were multiplying does not mean God saw them favorably. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 The people use a number of things to declare themselves righteous and saved. Well, you know, they've got, oh, with a whole mess of kids over there, you know, God is really, he's just smiling down upon them. And God's trying to, hopefully out of that, some seed of light might come up out of there. <laughs> but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're in favorable condition. And so now, you see, in this tunnel journey, there is the effort to put out all the light. Now, in the tunnel of our time. And we, like I said, we're going to talk more of this when we get into the lesson. Satan is still trying to do the same thing. You say, what do you do when there's dark tunnels? Well, darkness will be darkness, but the lights need to be lights. And during the time where Noah was the only light, God didn't just rush and close the door because Noah preached for a long time. Amen. He preached for a long time. And while he was building the ark, according to God's instruction, see, light is going to do things according to God's instruction. That's how you know the difference between light and dark. You say, well, you know, this world can be confusing because there are a lot of folks who claim to be the children of light. As Paul says in Ephesians uh, chapter 5, you know, walk as children of light. There are a lot of people who claim to be children of light. When it comes down to children of light, children of light do exactly, not some of, not part of. They do exactly what God tells them to do. Right. And when God says build something, they're going to build whatever it is. God says build it. And when God says build it here, they're going to build it just where God says build it. When God says use this material, they're going to use just the material. Y'all getting quiet on me now. I think y'all know where I'm going. They, they, they use just the material that God says use. That's, that's how you determine children of light. Children of light are those that when it comes down to whatever it is they are about to do, uh, they want to make sure it's a thus said the Lord. Uh, and they want to make sure that whenever they make or uh, 
decision or do something, it is, it is written. That is the behind what they do. But that's children of light. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Darkness will always want to put out the lights. Now, we got stuff that's going on today. Lights going out like lights went out then. And then I'm going to let y'all go ahead and enjoy your Mother's Day. Because y'all looking at me like, hey, look, preacher, go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead, see. We got a roast in the oven. I want to thank the burn. <laughs> when it comes down to lights going out, notice he said the daughters of, of, of the, the sons of God began to hook up with the daughters, daughters of men. men. That was a way of putting lights out. Mm -hmm. Amen. I used to hear all the time, if you want to find a husband, you need to go out in the world mm. to find him. If you want to find a wife, and you don't want one of them old praying, Bible-toting, mm. prayerful, you know, you need to go out into the world and get you one of them Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and, and, and then what you do is once you grab one, then you drag it into mm. the church. If you take a bear and drag him in your house and sit him at the table, he's still a bear. Amen. And bears will do what bears do. Amen. If you take a snake, mm. you know, mm. a, 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 what do they call them, a, a cobra, a, 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 a rattlesnake, mm. and, and bring him up in your house. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you might, you might uh, take him uh, upstairs and mm. put him in the closet. Mm. Uh, maybe let him run around the place. He's still going to be a snake. And snakes are going to do what snakes do. I'm talking about how lights get put out. How like, uh, you hear folks say, my best friends are in the Word. Mm. I can't stand to deal much with them folk in the church. In the church. Uh, you know, and, and so uh, I like hanging out with my friends in the Word. Darkness will be darkness. And if you hang out and favor darkness, your light will go out. And what Satan wants is he wants your light to go out. The problem with the world today it's not Donald Trump. Come on, come on. It's a light issue. Amen. It doesn't matter how dark it gets outside as long as the light's inside. Come on. Amen. But when the lights don't come on because there's no source of power, uh -oh. now darkness is an issue. Uh -oh. Folk don't mind it getting dark at night. They go in the house, turn on the lights. Uh -huh. And when the sun come up, they turn uh -huh. off the lights and enjoy the sunlight. When the sun goes down, they go in the house, turn on the lights. Darkness don't bother folk when they're driving. They just hit on the lights. Yeah. If it's darker, they hit the high beams. Amen. But as long as there's light coming from the car, travel is not a problem. Amen. Some folk prefer to try at, at night. night. <laughs> but when there is no light, now travel becomes a problem. Right. The difference or the difficulty or the circumstance of the world is not the darkness. It does what darkness do. Amen. The problem is when the light don't do what the light supposed to do, Amen. then you got a problem. Amen. Rather than worrying about Donald Trump, Amen. we need to be worried about the lights. Amen. Because we have lights that are going on and some lights won't come on. Amen. And some lights are favoring darkness Amen. and shedding off. Amen. That's the key to tunnel travel. Amen. It's not about the tunnel. It's about where is the light? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where is the light? So he says, now you are children of light. Walk 
as children mm. of light. And don't get caught up mm. in the darkness. Amen. And Satan's going to make that. I can imagine. I, I can imagine when they say the daughters of men. I, 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 I bet they had all kind of mascara because believe it or not, they stuff was better than what you buy now. <laughs> no, seriously. Seriously, seriously. Uh, when I was, when I was uh, uh, taking a course of uh, archaeology and, and looking and studying about all of the perfumes and the makeup and the mascara and all that kind of stuff, I thought doing those picks and those forks, I thought that was something that came out of the Afrocentric movement. <laughs> they had that stuff back in the B.C. And, and they used natural stuff. When you talk about, you talk, it's about to say, man, how in the world did Solomon get hooked up with all of them women? Oh, they had some, they had some stuff. <laughs> they had perfumes, colognes, they had oils, they had kind of stuff. You, you know, you yeah, these commercials where they talk about putting the lotion, making your skin all nice. Oh, they had some stuff that really do that. Really do that. They had all of that stuff. They had all that stuff. And so when, we, when you think in terms of, of, of Satan's attempt and his effort to cause the lights to go out, if you notice on the tunnel we talked about today, those lights were not forced out. They were not deceived out. They chose to go out. Thank you. Said the sons of God, meaning the seeds of light, they chose mm. to go out because they were desiring the things of the world. Mm. And what Satan does is he puts out stuff in the world to draw the attention. And what happens is the lights go out. Let me give you some, I'm a, and then we're, we're done. I'm going to give you some examples of turning lights out. There was, and, and like I said, there's abrupt change. People say, what in the world happened? What in the world happened? You know, when you go into a dark tunnel. There was a time, no matter who it was, if anybody had a half notion or belief in God, they wanted their children to be prayerful, they want them to say prayers before they went to bed. They want them to pray uh, for they, before they ate. Uh, uh, they wanted, they had a, a mindset in them that if you lie, God didn't like it. I, I, I remember talking to kids in grade school. They didn't go to the church. But they still were taught God does not like you to lie. God does not like you to steal. And so the idea of the reality of God was real. And and and, uh, and and even though you try to invite them to church, no, I don't know. But the one thing about it, they would say things like, man, oh, you, they, you would say tell them fib back then. Yeah. You were a kid, you said tell them fib. Yeah. A lie was the same as using profanity. Yeah. Oh, it was. Yeah. So you said tell a fib. Yeah. And you better, you better say that in a real polite sort of way. <laughs> no, mama, he was telling a fib on me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, ain't no way you're gonna say you lying. No, you say, no, no, mommy. They tell them to feel. Okay? You said that with with a with with a sense of politeness, I know my place. Okay? Now, so all of a sudden you've got this sense of morality. You got all these things going on. You got all these things. All of a sudden there's a an abrupt change. There's an abrupt change. Then all of a sudden, in terms of the teaching, it is in parenting, you respect me. Okay? As long as you respect me. And some of them would even be the point you respect just me. Amen. Don't even respect him. Amen. I know that's your father, but you know, he ain't nothing. Uh, you don't, you respect me. I, you don't respect her. I know that's your mama, but I'm the one that... And so all of a sudden there's a change. There's a change. And, and what happens is, is that when that occurs, the significance of God decreases. Now, when the significance of God decreases, guess what begins to happen to the light? Lights start going out. I didn't say they stopped coming to church. Mm. Amen. Mm. Y'all missed Sunday school. Y'all should have been there for Sunday school. I'm not even going to explain that. Check with somebody who was in Bible school this morning and ask them about their notes. They'll explain that to you. But I'm not saying just show up at church. And what happens is the lights go out. 
When the lights go out, how can a person in darkness distinguish or determine who...